For 30 years, CASA has assisted children throughout Central Texas, but the group needs more resources to keep up with a growing demand for its services. In November, CASA kicked off a $1.2 million capital campaign to build a bigger space off Hunter Road. Board President Joanne Germer says a new building will enable CASA to bring in more volunteers and keep more children out of state care. These buildings do cost money, and so we're trying very hard to uh, uh, to raise funding in different ways. In 2014, the number of Hayes County children in state protective custody was 214. CASA was only able to serve 72 percent or three out of four of those children, which left some without an advocate. There are more and more children coming into uh, CPS care, more and more children who are being abused and neglected, sadly, um, and the need is for more volunteers. And all it takes is one extra volunteer to change the life of another. Most of our volunteers find the experience very rewarding, very fulfilling, and, um, and that is because the work that they are doing is um, very impacting. I'm touched just listening to what a commitment the advocates make and, and how important they are in the life of that child. Community support is what drives this nonprofit organization to success. And the capital campaign is just one step closer to making this dream come true in 2016. For Bobcat Update, I'm Sarah Duran. Students have opportunities at Texas State that can give them a head start after they graduate. They get to use real equipment and put into practice what they will actually be doing in their prospective fields. Just recently I did a social marketing class where we had to do uh, volunteer hours uh, for a Central, Med a Central Texas Medical Center and we had to come up with a marketing plan there. Students are given opportunities to work with companies where they can gain experience in what will be their jobs. Often there are alums present who can provide a guiding hand. This is a human osteology class where we're going over every bone in the human body, how to identify it, how to cite it, um, especially fragmentary remains. Even the teachers take pride in the fact that their programs stand out. The fact that students have to do the things that we're teaching, they don't just learn it out of a book. They're having to get experience in video. They're having to write things for student media. They're having to produce things. So you really do get your feet wet and your hands dirty. Texas State works closely with many professionals and student organizations. The University Star and radio station KTSW offer on-campus experience for those who want to work on their skills. And we've got a bunch of great music coming your way right here on the other side of radio. Stay tuned. For more information about career choices and how to prepare for them, contact Career Services. For Bobcat Update, I'm Brandi Calhoun. Winter break is over and the campus is again bustling. It's time again to concentrate on going to school and planning for the future. Texas State student Cody Wilson has a full load this semester. In addition to attending classes, he has an internship and a full-time job. It was a long break, but I'm glad I'm back in St. Marvelous. And uh, I have nine hours left uh, and an internship. And after that, I get to graduate. And from there, it's downhill. Students return to campus with mixed feelings. Having a Christmas break was great, but now it's time to get the ball rolling. I just had a couple classes, syllabus days, so you can't complain. And I love being here in San Marcos, so it's really good that the first day is of such a beautiful day. So, so far it's been really well. Texas State this semester has an enrollment of more than 36,000 students. For Bobcat Update, I'm Brandi Calhoun. Your overall health doesn't just involve the physical exercise you get, but more importantly, what you put into your body. Food is fuel, and many Americans today aren't fueling their bodies properly. This starts with what you eat and how much. According to Texas State Health and Wellness Professor Don Roberts, both exercise and diet play an important role in your overall long-term health. But what you eat affects more than just your weight. Uh, it affects how you feel every day, your level of energy, your uh, attitude and your mood, and it's related to chronic long-term diseases. It's important to get a good balance of fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. Robert suggests portion control and choosing healthy eating habits that you can maintain regularly. Cutting out processed foods is important, but if you can't, moderation is key. For KTSW News, I'm Brandi Calhoun. According to the Center for Disease Control, fewer than half of Americans are being vaccinated this year, and that number continues to fall. There are many options available for flu shots and many different clinics offering in-and-out services to try to accommodate more people. 
According to Texas State Clinical Lab Science major Tara Mann, vaccines can easily protect you against the most harmful of diseases. Basically, your body produces memory cells with these antibodies, so whenever you do get sick again, your body remembers this antigen and it's able to produce it more quickly, and that's what vaccinations do. With all the controversy surrounding vaccines in general, it's important to do your research and consult your doctor with any questions. For KTSW News, I'm Brandi Calhoun.